Welcome to Lisa and Will's Halls. We are so glad to have everyone tonight. And I would like to share a small haul, and then we're going to have a big, huge chit chat tonight. So I would, if this is your first time, we would love to have you as a subscriber. If you're already a subscriber, we would like to thank you. We are over 1,500 now, and so many people have been so nice to us, and we are so grateful for everyone that has joined our YouTube family. So I would like to get started with a very, very, very tiny Dollar Tree haul that I did today. The first thing that I got was from Toolbench, and it is the 70-piece nail set. And I am going to be doing a DIY, which I am going to do on Friday. And I'm going to show you exactly on Friday how I plan to use these and walk you through every step of that DIY. The next thing I found, which was a super value, they now have the 275 sheets per. It is the more value on their bath tissue, which is a Greenbrier product. And they were before 175. And you can see right here that where they marked it through. Next, we have, they brought back the mega size. Now, I've, I got six of the toilet tissues because I felt like that was a great deal. And then they brought back the mega, my size 210 sheets. Now, these last a long, long time. They're uh, from Orchard Park Paper Company, so it is not a Dollar Tree product. And it's made in the USA in Pryor, Oklahoma. Surprise, it's not made in Pennsylvania. However... These are the mega my sizes, and they last forever. They came back into our Dollar Trees, and they will be, we bought five of them, so we were really excited to find those. And next, I got another lunch storage tower. Last night on the live, I showed y'all how to do this. I will show you again, just in case you missed our live last night. You can separate them into two. This one is where you would put your main items. You connect it back, just like so, very easy. And then you unscrew it like so. And you have your dipping sauce cup, which is like so. So, I'm saying a lot of so. But it's very easy to do. And this is a Greenbrier product. Now, stay tuned because we're going to have an announcement. If you stay till the end of the video, we're going to make sure that, and I'm going to be announcing a very, very special thing. So, that was a small, small Dollar Tree haul that I did today. It was very, very tiny. And again, I'm going to be launching a DIY on Friday using the nails. So without further ado, what would y'all like to talk about tonight? Hey Marley, we thank you for being moderator. Yeah, I like the uh, I like the tolls too. I hope I say this right. Elsa Gale, thank you for joining us tonight. Happy Monday to you as well. So last night we talked about. Hey Heather Welsh, how are you? Okay, so I would like to bring up, I said it would be at the end, but I've changed my mind. Today we are going to do a giveaway, and it's going to be a surprise giveaway. So in the comments after the video, you need to put down hashtag lunch. And I will announce the winner, and then once I announce the winner, 
you need to send me an email which will be in my about section. This is very practical, very heavy duty. So I wish everyone the best. Remember, hashtag lunch, and then we will announce the giveaway winner, which I think we are going to do that Friday. We will do that on the DIY video Friday. What is my favorite food? Wow, this is a great question. My favorite food. Do I really have to pick a favorite? And can we go by category? Because I love steaks and I love seafood. I'm gonna go with ribeye for, for my meat. For my seafood, I'm gonna go with ribeye. Now, let me correct myself. T-bone, then ribeye. And then I'm gonna have to go for seafood. I would have to go with crab legs. And I just, I really like fish and stuff, so. Do your Dollar Trees have the Easter stuff yet? Mine must be doing it this week. Not all of them, uh, a lot of them have them still in boxes. They have, uh, some of them have already said it. Our main store has already said it, but our secondary, our, our locations really right down the road have not. But they, I did see some stuff today, but I really didn't get a chance to get it because I don't like digging in the boxes and I don't know what we, some of the things that we already have. But they are, a lot of those are coming out. Um, Heather Welsh, a lot of those are coming out with the, uh, with the Easter. I'm thinking like you are. It will be in the next week. Uh, Marley says that pizza, it, you say pizza is your favorite? What is your favorite kind of pizza? I can tell you what mine isn't. Uh, when I was 14, I had a landlord who was really weird when I lived in Germany. And my parents were gone bowling one night and he brought his pizza over. Because I guess he had a crush on my sister, which is really weird because she was only 13. But he brought us a pizza that I didn't want to eat pizza again for really the rest of my life, but I've, I've managed to get through it once I got to college. Um, it had sardines and eggs on it. It was the grossest pizza I've ever tasted. But I'm going to go with Supreme Pizza as my favorite. Pepperoni's my second. Meat Lovers is a good choice. They will have Reese's eggs at the Dollar Tree. I did see some of those um, just recently. So Marley, they do have that. Let's, I'm gonna pose a question to y'all. What is your favorite movie? of all time. What are some of your favorite movies? Hey, da hey, Daily TV 4. How are you tonight? A Walk to Remember, that's a good one, Marley. I think The Green Mile's a really good one. Of course, I like anything James Bond or Star Wars. So the question was, what is your favorite movie? Or what are some of your favorite movies? Heather, that is, they have some really good movies. Um, Candace Bergen, uh, you know, she's on there a lot, so we really like her, so we watch her movies. So you got a good point there with the Hallmark Channel. That's a, that's a really good one.
What was your favorite movie from the uh, Hallmark Channel, Heather Welsh? Hey, Dragon Gaming. Gaming. Uh, North Carolina football. Yeah, North Carolina athletics is kind of suffering this year. It's at the half, and we're losing right now to Notre Dame. So, you like Christmas ones, Heather. That's, that's, I can see that. I can see that. Uh, they have some really good Christmas, uh, Christmas movies on Hallmark Channel. Fireproof is a great movie. Uh, Kirk Cameron. And a little known fact, when he has, uh, when Kirk Cameron has love scenes that he has to do in his, in his movies, whoever the actress is, the lead actress, his wife comes in and is her stunt double for the love scenes because he has part of his contractual agreements with, uh, with whoever he's doing his movies with that she, if there's a love scene, she has to be the one because he's committed to his wife, which I find very, very sweet. Basketball season is a very big thing. Football season here is, is probably the biggest thing, then basketball and then baseball. But sports never stop in the South. And, you know, if they're not winning one title, then they're trying to get the other. Um, obviously, the ACC and the SEC have had a long run of winning titles. Uh, basketball, Kansas has got a good chance this year. Uh, I saw Dayton earlier in the year. I watched them on ESPN, and I thought, wow, that, that, I think they have the top player in the country. But uh, you're right. Kansas, uh, Kansas basketball is, uh, is really big there. So, you know, Bill Self, I, I think he had some controversy earlier in the year with, uh, with those hard fouls that the guy gave and got he, I think he got uh, ejected for the rest of the year or uh, kicked off the team. But... Now, things like that happen, and it's unfortunate that that's the dark side of sports because there's a lot of good things to sports. YT Gamer says that he's a Clemson fan. Marley, for football, I am a Georgia fan, and my dad is a Georgia graduate. Um, we obviously, we don't live far from the campus, about two and a half hours, so, yeah, Georgia always seems to fall short and break my heart, like, every year. But Marley, you're 100% right about the Bulldogs. They're, they're consistently top five and they're consistently in it. So you're right. I will tell you a true story about Clemson. I have a Clemson jacket and I took two of my buddies fishing and I told them that if they beat me that I would wear the Clemson jacket to our next roll call meeting well, they didn't beat me. I think the total was like 26 fish for me and like maybe 10 for them. So I don't like Clemson. I respect Clemson, but I don't like them. That's good that you love your bulldogs. I have a lot of, uh, I have a lot of Georgia things that I, that I have at the house. Um, my wife is from North Carolina. She's a huge, huge Tar Heel fan. And I like them as well. So for basketball, I, I do cheer for UNC. I am from Georgia as well. Actually, I was, Marley, I was born in Athens. And um, my dad was going to grad school there when I was born. So, um... I will always have that in my roots. There's, there's no taking that away. The Vidalia, that's a very pretty place, uh, Marley. That's a very pretty place that, uh, that you were born in. So the questions were earlier tonight to keep the conversation going for some, because I see that we have a lot of people that have just come in, uh, was what is your favorite movie? And then we're talking also about sports and 
It's gotten to, because I'm wearing a UNC jacket, because I'm sitting here, or I was watching the game. Uh, what is your favorite team? Uh, YT Gamer says Clemson. Marley says Georgia. And Heather Welsh says Kansas. Now, Eliza Gale, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I have never been to either Arkansas or Texas. I have not been west of Louisiana. So I hear that Arkansas is a beautiful place to live. I do see that they have some mountains there, so that does intrigue me. And there's a lot of outdoor hunting and fishing that goes on there. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say that you would probably like I was going to say, thankfully you said Houston, Texans, because there's one team I do not like, but I'm not going to boo anybody for it. So Houston, Texans is your favorite pro team. So I got that completely, Eliza Gale. Marley uh, lives in Mississippi. Uh, obviously, we have a strong Southern theme here. But Heather, we'd like to thank you because Kansas is kind of South. So... You know, it's southern part of the United States, a little bit, South Central. Uh, do you have a lot of hurricanes there? I'm just curious. I'm not hurricanes. <laughs> Lord, what am I thinking? Tornadoes, because we have hurricanes here. And so does Mississippi, and so does Florida. So, Heather, do you have a lot of, uh, do you have a lot of tornadoes there? Because I know that was, that's always been a concern. YT Gamer says that his uh, favorite is Avengers Endgame. It's not a bad movie at all. The, the Avengers series really is uh, taken back off. So great choice there, YT Gamer. Heather, you're absolutely right. It's so ironic that they won on the 50th year from their last title. As a matter of fact, the 50th year from the last time they even went to the Super Bowl. So congratulations to your Chiefs. They absolutely absolute, excuse me, deserve it. Um, no doubt that they have, in my mind, the best player in professional football, uh, Patrick Mahomes. Andy Reid was overdue for a Super Bowl. Congratulations to their entire franchise. And obviously, 50 years between winning or even being in the Super Bowl is quite an accomplishment. So, Agnes, where are you from in the north? Yeah, Heather, that really sucks about the weekly tornado drills. Uh, we don't have that many of the hurricane drills, but we've had some, we've had an earthquake here. Uh, we had one about five years ago, and we had tremors about, I want to say about three and a half really weird when you go through one of those. Uh, as for tornadoes, we've had some that have spawned, but they were to the north of us. So, Agnes says she's from upstate New York. So, Agnes, what is your favorite movie? Upstate New York is a beautiful place, too. We've looked at, uh, we've looked at land from there to Tennessee to uh, West Virginia, uh, Maine. So that's a beautiful area that you're in, and you have four seasons, and I'm so jealous because we only have two, and it's like summer and some mild season, not called fall or winter. So we only have two. Yeah, Heather, that must really, really stink, though, to be going through drills. I guess it's to keep, you, keep it fresh in your mind, but I, I couldn't imagine doing all that. Oh, you don't really have a favorite? That's okay. That's okay. I will say that Lisa's is officer and a gentleman. Bonus points to me, because I remember. Eliza Gale says that she loves Bible movies. 
So, what is your favorite Bible movie, Eliza, um, Eliza Gale? I did. I did give Lisa a Valentine. Um, that is a great question. And the day before Valentine's, I had off. So I realized Lisa and I were talking, and she needed a new phone. So that was my Valentine's to her. I got her an iPhone 11. And because I had really um, paid my bills very well, um, it came out a lot better than I was originally thinking it would. So uh, she got a new, brand new phone, a brand new iPhone 11, and she deserves it and she needed it. So I was glad to give her to give her that uh, gift the day before Valentine's. Hi, Mama Brown. How are you, Eliza Gale? The Story of Jesus is a great movie. Um, so just wanted to update. Heather Welsh had asked me, did I give Lisa a Valentine? And I did. So, Heather Welsh, I'm going to bounce this back to you. What did you get on Valentine's Day? Or what did all of you get on Valentine's Day? Or what did you give? Now, what I received was a great dinner. It was fantastic. So, my wife, went, Lisa, went above and beyond on her dinner, which she could probably do a cooking channel, and everybody would be like, wow. Wow. Because she knows how to cook really, really well. Molly says pies and brownies. Pies and brownies work. Yeah, I mean, way to a person's heart is through their stomach a lot of times. Oh, let's see. I got a Dollar Tree gift card. That can be beneficial. I've seen some items at Dollar Tree that are $20 elsewhere, such as the Fathead. Um... Conditioner and shampoo, and you can get them for a dollar at Dollar Tree now. And if you watch some of our previous videos or previous hauls, you will see that on there, Heather. You got Reese's. Yes, yes, I agree. Uh, let's see. So, Mama Brown, I'm just updating. Everyone is announcing where they're from. They're um, giving what their favorite movie has been in the past. Elijah Gale says the story of Jesus. Um, I have to go back and look at some of the other answers. What did Lisa make for my Valentine's Day dinner? Steak. Pan-fried steak. Um, a baked potato that was unbelievable. And we had uh, crab meat. King crab meat. Or Dungeness, I, I think it's Dungeness. And I was so full afterwards, I was like, oh. And then I'd go to work the next day. Terrible. Just terrible. Hey, Tanya Johnson, how are you? So, Tanya, just to give you an update, everybody's talking about their favorite movie. So, if you haven't answered that yet, you can. Uh, their favorite team and where they're from. Liza Gale says, I got candy, flowers, and balloon trinkets. Nicely done. Nicely done to whoever gave you those. Hey, Shawna from Mississippi. I, we appreciate you coming on. So we have two from Mississippi. So we have Marley from Mississippi and Shawna from Mississippi. So thank you again. The husband, yes. Bonus points to him. The chocolate-covered strawberries were from the DIY that Lisa did. It's on the channel. Check it out. Right after you get off this, she goes through the entire instructional video. They hold. We still have some, and they are delicious. I ate one today. Lisa gave it to me, so I didn't steal it out of the refrigerator. I would never do that. Uh, but they're delicious, and they they hold a lot longer than Valentine's Day.
Thank you for bringing that up, YT Gamer. Uh, please, by all means, like, subscribe, comment in the comment box below. Interaction is always good, and we appreciate it. And again, if you're not a subscriber, we would love to have you. If you're already a subscriber, we are so grateful to have you. And just want to bring this back up. Hashtag lunch enters you, and if you put it in the comments below, for a giveaway on the snack lunch container. Hashtag lunch, when you do the comment below after the video, will enter you in that competition. If you were, we're going to pick the winner Friday, and we will give the email listing in our box below, in our about section. So you will have that, and you will have 48 hours to, if you're the winner, send us your information. The strawberries were unbelievably delicious. They really were. They were, oh, wow. They were good. Um, to be honest with you, that whole meal was good. I mean, I'm going to get back to the, and we also had asparagus, and I am not a fan of greens, cooked greens at all. I will eat raw broccoli like there's no tomorrow. I love fried okra, corn on the cob, but nothing else. But at least did an unbelievable job with the asparagus. I ate, I'm going to say, one and a half stalks of asparagus, and that counted for my vegetables. So, Agnes, Tanya, uh, we will enter you. Cool. We'll go ahead and enter you, and we'll enter y'all in that from this. Uh, story, Shauna, about fried okra. My grandparents and parents are from the north. I was born in Athens, Georgia, and have been in South Carolina most of my life, except for when we moved back to Georgia for about two years, and we moved to Germany for about five years. Well, my grandmother came down, and I was probably about three or four years old, and my mom and my mom and dad went to the grocery store and bought a five-pound bag of stuffed fried okra. My grandmother cooked it. I ate probably three and a half pounds of it that night. My grandfather, who had never ate it, ate the other one and a half pounds. That's how addicted to fried okra I've been my entire life. Yes, it's not that healthy because it's fried, but it's that good. So Heather, Tanya, and Agnes, all of you are entered. YT Gamer Fried Okra is, uh, is very good, yes. Yes, it is. Now make sure also that you're, if you're not able to be here Friday for our video, it's gonna be the DIY, which I explained you're going to learn what I'm going to do with these and how I'm going to use them. Those are the nails from Toolbench. Uh, and then you're also going to have the uh, DIY giveaway, or excuse me, the giveaway along with the DIY. So we're going to do a combo video on that. I'm not so sure yet if I'm going to do it live or if I'm going to do a uh, run an early video because it's all going to depend on what I have going on in time constraints. Yeah, I can live with it not being good for me, Shauna. Absolutely. I mean, there's a lot worse things in life that are not good for you, but I digress. Um, it's, it's really just addicting. Fried okra is just addicting. Now, I will tell you this. Okra and tomatoes are also good. So... Maybe that's a good substitute. <coughs> uh, thank you, Shauna, for entering. Mama Brown, thank you for entering. Peaches and peanut butter. Sounds gross, but it's delicious. I haven't tried that one. I haven't tried that one. No, I've, how do you... Aren't the peaches a little slick? 
you get the peanut butter on? I mean, I'll tell you this, peanut butter banana sandwiches are very good. And then you put a little honey on peanut butter. Oh, yes. Uh, which Mexican food is your favorite, Eliza Gale? Hey, try it, buy it, make it, sell it. Good evening to you. Oh, you drain the peaches. Duh, that makes sense. And well, what kind of peanut butter do you use? Do you use the creamy or the crunchy? All of it. Okay, confession. Have you ever sat down in a Mexican restaurant, drank water, and ate the chips only? Because the chips are delicious. You went with crunchy, Marley. Interesting. Almost. So you had a you had cokes instead, didn't you? You had cokes, but you ate the chips. You're right. No? Well, I'm trying to think if we ever did that or not. I think that we had like a drink and they didn't charge us for the chips. Or they may have charged us for the chips, but we kept going back for more. But we were really good. I mean, we were good patrons to the, to the folks. And one of the Mexican restaurants I actually got featured in the local newspaper. Uh, which was really awesome. They kept it up for about five years. They just recently took it down. But, yeah, I can see where they would, uh, they would uh, test you on that or try you on that or want to charge you for it. So Tanya says, creamy? Or you say, no creamy, Tanya. I met Lisa online. Uh, this was uh, approximately 20 years ago. And her, she got online and just as a joke, she was chit-chatting with me. And um, from there, she got off and she decided she's never gonna talk to me. Well, I saw her street name come on again and it turned out to be her oldest son, and he told me everything about her to include where she lived, her height, uh, their exact street address, their exact phone number, every single thing about them. So later, and what they drove, and what kind of house they lived in. So later that night, I saw that she got back on, and I got her to call me because I wanted, I told her that I didn't think that that was appropriate of him, so she did, and we tried to meet up the first time and it didn't work, and then the second time we finally got together, and we've been together ever since. You said you like, Tanya Johnson says she likes the fajitas uh, with the nachos mixed. That's pretty good. Um, I know that Lisa likes the, there's a pepper she likes, but they don't, they don't make it right anymore. They jip you on it. So, uh, we haven't gone that much anymore. Marley says uh, her husband is from, uh, loves North Carolina because he's from North Carolina. What part of North Carolina is he from? And then I'll tell you where Lisa's from. Meeting on the internet did work. It's very rare. 
the relationships even work, and now we've been married for 20 years. So it did work. Hickory, uh, my parents live in that area. My sister lives in Hickory. My parents live in Lincolnton, North Carolina, which is right down the road. Then my other sister lives in Boone. Or, wait, in a community outside of Boone, but she, her husband works for the university. <laughs> are my parents from North Carolina? No, they are both from Delaware. One is from a tiny town where Dead Poets Society, the film was, was produced. And the other one is from just outside. He's from Wilmington, which is not far from Philly. Yeah, it is cute. And, and thank you, uh, ladies, for... Congratu the congratulations. Um, marriage is not an easy road, but you have to stay committed to it and you have to do the right things. And, uh, you know, that's my advice that I would give anybody is, is stick to it because you marry the person for a reason and you love them, sickness and in health. Are my parents from South Carolina? No, they're from Delaware. My dad actually went to his graduate program at the University of Georgia. Again, back to Marley's reference to the Bulldogs. And he went to undergraduate in Richmond, Virginia. Congratulations, Heather, on 25, uh, and Shauna on 14. Uh, Shauna, you are absolutely right about changing with people. It just takes time, and, and as you change, you grow older together. I mean, every day I, I'm thankful for, for Lisa and, you know, I think that every day you go through and it's a challenge, but it makes it easier when you pretty much know the person and you know step for step about them. The 25, and YT Gamer, you're absolutely right, 25 is a big number. And again, congratulations to both of you for that amount of time being married because that does, that's a huge accomplishment in this world. Well, I am going to interject for a second. I heard you while I was in the back. Um, we, I, I, you did not ask me to call you that night. Okay. I said, give me your phone number. Right. I'm going to call right. you because I wanted to find out what was going on. Right. And um, I, I told you that everything. Right and there. I called you. It was either like back then, Star sixty seven or sixty seven, or Star sixty nine. So you would not have my phone number. And after that, I don't think we talked for like a year. Yeah, it was. It I was wasn't interested in Will at all. She passed on me. I'm nine years older than Will. I know it doesn't look it because I look old. <laughs> you don't look old. I'm nine years older than Will. Will had never been married. Will had never had no children. So, uh, so that was that story. And then it took us about a year after that to me. About a year. And we had one time when you came down and you had an asthma attack. And then after that, about three months, Will broke up with me. But then we... Oh, you didn't tell that story. You broke up with me. 
You called me? He was at work one morning and he called me and he said, excuse me a second. <coughs> he said, my, my, mother, mo my mother, and this is an example of not letting your parents get in the way. He said, my mother does not want me to date you anymore. So I am breaking up with you. And what did I say? That's fine. Goodbye. I said, that's fine. Goodbye. Don't ever call me again. And as soon as I hung up the phone, he called and called and called. And I, let I realized him, the error of my ways. And I let him call for days and days and days. And then just one day, he finally showed up at my house. And the rest is history. See, I said I never left her. I did for one split second. So I <coughs> changed that story a little bit. Yeah. Thank you for Well, that was before we were married and all. Or engaged or anything. We were just dating. Well, but it took you like one second and the phone was ringing. And I knew it was you because I had a caller ID and I'm like, mm -mm, I am not answering that phone for him. Wow, Agnes has been married 20 years, but they've been together 35. <coughs> My goodness, Agnes, what took you so long to get married after 15 years? Well, I, we, we know a lot of people who've been um, together a long time before they got married. Thank you, Eliza Gale. I'm Thank you for saying that I don't look good. I appreciate that. Because I get called old every day. By whom? Co-workers? By the 24-year-olds that I have to manage. <laughs> well, there you go. You are old to a 24-year-old. Yeah, I'm old. God is good all the time, Eliza. That's right. That's absolutely correct. Marley, I think it makes it easier when... Um, you got married at 19, wow. And you've been married 25 years. Congratulations, Heather. Took us eight years before we got married, huh? I think it took us like a year and a half, two years. But I do think it, I'm not gonna say, how's the best way to put this? I think for me in my situation, it was better that I had somebody older and not my own age because it was somebody who was more mature, and um, somebody who I could talk to about things, because the people that I dated who were either younger than I was or the same age, uh, it just wasn't. It just wasn't there. It just wasn't meant to be. Well, congratulations on your second marriage, Eliza Gale, and we wish you the very best with that. Lorraine, great to see you. I was married to my first husband 24 years before he was killed, remarried now. And I remember because Lisa told me about that, Lorraine. So uh, Lorraine and, and Lisa are very good friends. Um, they've become very close through YouTube. Lorraine is from, if I'm correct, Canada. And I think it's Alberta, but you can correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, thank God I got Lisa back. I had to pull a lot of strings on that one, but I did. So, and the rest is history. Ontario, Canada, thank you. Thank you for correcting me. And uh, Lorraine, you were, you've been a nurse for years. Hey, Susie by the Sea. I have, it's so great that you're here. Yeah, Tanya, it is an awesome story, no matter what, of how I met Lisa and um, it's funny how, and, and just to go back on Eliza Gale, not to get all religious with everybody, but it's funny how God works in mysterious ways, and he really does. Yes, Tanya, that is very interesting that he told you that. Yeah, Marley, I, I've heard that he treats you very well. Um, Lisa, Lisa's told me some of the things that he does for you, so that is really, really sweet. And I can tell you this, Lisa keeps me in check a lot. Um, I was a big spender before I got married. Um, I would go out and not have my bills paid and go out.
out and buy a $70 video game instead of, of which, let me go back. I haven't had video games in years. Just want to make that clear because I'm way past that in my age group and maturity. Some guys aren't. But I'm going to say this, that she's kept me grounded and I'm forever grateful because of her keeping me grounded. So looking at it, um, she has kept me really grounded because I want, there's been times where everything, a lot of things that we have are paid for. And I'm grateful for that. Um, just in case anything ever came up. So I keep telling her I need a truck, I need a truck, but I don't really need a truck. Not right now. It's just not the right time. Lisa is beautiful inside and out. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely she is, Lorene. And speaking of beautiful things, Lorene makes beautiful pocket letters. So check her channel out on that because she is really, really crafty. And, uh, you know, she sent us one, I think it was during Halloween or around Christmas. I don't remember which. And it is, her work is beautiful. She's very, very talented. I am going to wait on the truck. There's, I mean, I could go, yeah. So, those of you who have watched our channel for any amount of time know that I love to go fishing. Um, I have even been able to master, you're going to see on the DIY on Friday that I'm going to do, how I've been able to cut my expenses for fishing down to a minimum. And it's something that um, I don't think you're going to believe with what I have put together that it's going to cost me less than $30, $30 for the year to have put together this project. That's all I can say about it. But um, I've been challenged to financially come up with ways that I can save money and I financially challenge myself. Lisa didn't challenge me. I challenged myself to get the most out of, out of what the resources that we already have around. And I challenge a lot of you to do that as well. If you need something, just look around. Sometimes you might find it, or you might find that you really don't need it. So, Gamer, I am so sorry that uh, you were left without a penny. That is that is very sad. Um, Try it, buy it, make it, sell it. Where are you from, if you don't mind me asking? It's very hard to find good people. And, you know, I... I've often told Lisa that if something were to happen to her, I'd go buy a dog and that would be it. Because that's, oh, you're from Boston, but you live in Delaware. Cool. Uh, and I'm going to come right back to your, your comment there, try it. Um, so I've often debated whether I would get a small dog or a big dog and once if Lisa were to pass. And I'm still debating that. Still debating that, but uh, that would definitely be my game plan. Uh, so from Boston, but you live in Delaware. Where whereabouts in Delaware? Because I've been to Rehoboth, I've been to um, the Delaware River. I fished that. I caught stripers in it. Uh, Middletown is where my family's from, so I'm just I'm just really curious. Dover. Do Lisa and I have animals currently? No, we don't. We had a very, um, we've had four dogs since we've been married and, uh, we lost one ran away. One had a tragic accident. One was bitten by a rattlesnake 
And another one ran away and got run over, and we found her that found him that same night, and he was the sweetest dog. And ever since then, we've not replaced any animals, nor at this point will we, because Lisa gets really, really attached to her animals. And uh, when they die, it, it's really bad on her. So I'm not going to do that to her. Eliza Gale, I absolutely agree with you. We do need to pray up about that because, um, you know, I, I heard today on the news that 40 people were quarantined um, from entering the United States because of having the uh, the virus. Um, you have a huge cat. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Eliza, uh, me and cats don't get along. I had... Uh, I had a cat called Penny Kitty, and uh, Penny Kitty scarred me for life. Uh, you used to live in Middletown. Wow. Heather says that she has a big dog and a little dog. The little one thinks she's in charge. Um, one of our little dogs actually was in charge, and unfortunately that was the one that met the rattlesnakes. But, um, Heather, you're absolutely correct. I will, I will tell you a story from my childhood that talks about uh, little dogs. We had a little dog growing up. We had a chihuahua. Our next, our neighbors down the road had a female chihuahua and a lassie dog. And the lassie dog was laid back. The two chihuahuas would tear up anything that came between or was perceived as a threat for us growing up as kids. Uh, there were, let's see, four or five. There were five girls on my block that we we all played together. It was my sister and four other girls. And then there was one little boy, but he was really too little to play with us. So I grew up with all these girls. Well, the Chihuahuas were very protective over all of us. And we had a senator who lived down the road from us. Well, he was handicapped, but he had great Danes. Well, one day, a part of the fence broke to where his great Danes were, and the great Danes got out. Well... The Great Danes never, even if the fence was broke, again, never got out, again. Because the two Chihuahuas, I was out playing in the yard, and the two Chihuahuas ran the Great Danes over a block back to their house, in back inside the fence because they had bitten them so many times. So that is my story about little dogs' complexes. You said your dog... It's a biblical plate proportion of number of locusts. That's I believe that too. I live in let's see. I live in Newcastle County, and I used to live in Middletown years ago. I love Middletown. Um, when my grandparents, well, when my grandparents passed away about 13, 14 years ago, um, the property went up for sale. So I have not been back. Because it makes me sad. Um, we had a large farm there. Our family did. And, you know, it really, really makes me sad. So, um, the locusts are like grasshoppers, but they eat vegetation. It can cause a food shortage. Absolutely right, it can. Uh, throughout Egypt, for years, it's caused this problem. And it's caused famine. They're saying that it's in China now. you got to go up on your tech. Of the, it's in China. I see Lisa just uh, let me know that it was in China. So, the, the locusts, they just said that a plague of locusts have entered China. And that other virus that's going around there, I want to talk about that. The coronavirus. The yeah, the coronavirus was what I was referencing, but the locusts, I did not know about that, so that's very, very interesting. Um, yeah, that's it. The locust thing is, is very scary, and you're right about the biblical proportions. Both, both Marley and Eliza are right about the biblical proportions because it does talk about that. Tanya says she has a lab for... Had a lab, needed a big yard. Um, yeah, that's why I'm scared to get a big dog, because... Um, Tell them that's all strawberries we have left that you go eat. 
This is really tempting. Lisa just handed me this dish and told me that these are the last five strawberries that we have and that I should eat them on camera and really tempt y'all. Just kidding. <laughs> no, I did not. No, just kidding about that. But those are the strawberries. You can check out the DIY and you can see how they held. Uh, the big dog part, absolutely, um, I understand about needing a fence and a big yard for that because that is, big dogs need a lot of exercise. And that's one of the things that have kind of scared me away from big dogs and going towards a smaller dog because the upkeep, the food, and now that I'm, I'm not going to say I'm cheap, but I look for my budget. A white, yeah, they do look gummy and yummy. And now she's done tempting me because she's over there eating one. It's not fair to the host. She's eating a second one. No, I'm on the first one. Just kidding. She's eating a first one. Too bad we can't ship those. I know. They're You're so right because they are good. They're so easy to make, too. They're very, very easy to make. With a beautiful result. And the results are... You can see the results. And this is, I think, how many days have they been in the fridge now? I think a week. They've been in there a week. But and they don't perfect. have all the strawberry stuff. And they've held up very well. It's something you can definitely make ahead of time. Ask how many cases of uh, coronavirus are in the USA. How many cases are they reporting now in the United States? I knew about the 40. Yeah, Eliza Gale, it was nice. It was nice when I ate the one earlier today. Has Lisa always been so crafty? Yes. Yes, I would say she has. She's always been very creative. Thank you for that comment, because I don't think I'm crafty at all. I've kind of got a few DIYs, go, things I've bought going now, but I, I, for some reason I can't get it together. I get blocked sometimes. Heather Welsh, we both suffer from ADD, and Lisa <laughs> sometimes overloads her plate a little bit with her DIY, so she's getting ready to get some more out. I'll, However... I'll have five going at one time. have five going at Instead of just doing one and one getting it done. But I really appreciate you saying that. And I think I was crafty pretty much from birth. I used to um, go outside and get mud, and I would make ashtrays. My dad smoked, my mom didn't. And I'd make him ashtrays, and I'd make little things to hold uh, flowers, and little trinket bowl trays out of... Uh, just the mud and make it into clay and let it dry and paint it. Uh, Lorene, absolutely, uh, that is really an awesome story about that he won the bass boat, which uh, your son inherited. Who won the bass boat? Um, her late husband was a great fisherman. Oh, you and he would have been good oh, friends. We would have, have gotten along. We'd have been, we'd have been wonderful. Um, <coughs> And actually, I've been invited to join a kayak club to go fishing, but I, I just don't have time. Um, I work the year before. I worked the most overtime of anybody in my department, and <clears throat> this year I worked the second most. So I'm all about saving money. It's just just how it is. Making money. You're, not, well, you're about, about, you're about money making the too. money. Uh, Will and I went kayaking. We did. One time. We went one time. And we had a great time. Um, it was a little hot. It was a little hot. We thought we'd gone during a good day. But <coughs> kayaking is well worth it. It was a gentle, gentle, uh, it was a gentle canal. It wasn't something that was, was heavy, heavy water. Um, I don't recommend you doing rapids when you first start, um, but we we enjoyed it, and um, I'm looking forward to it. I, I am going to buy a kayak, but I'm going to do that after I buy a truck. However, and I do have a boat. It's a very small one, but a bass boat, to win a bass boat at a tournament, 
Wow, that is awesome. My husband decided he wants to play his video game. Laugh out loud. I'm just listening. Uh, hey, that's cool. Which video games is he playing, uh, Marley? Thank you so much, Triad, for coming by. Uh, we look forward to seeing you again, and uh, we look forward to supporting you as well. So thank you. Uh, whew. I want to say 11,000. Or not, no, that's minutes. Um, 11,000 minutes. So I'm, we're really close. We are real close. Which, I think 11,000 minutes computes to something like 190 hours. Somewhere right around there. So we are really, really close on that. Um, we were at 229.6, so we're actually at 10.4. 10.4 divided by 60. That's Molly, how many does she have? Molly, and then I'm going to ask you, how many more do you have while I'm calculating in my mind? Because 10.4 comes out to be about 170, 175 hours. Well, I think you'll pick it up uh, pretty quickly, Marley. I know that ours has gone pretty quickly. We had a video that really, it spiked it, uh, the monkey video. So if y'all haven't checked that one out, go ahead and click over and look at it. Our monkey DIY. Monkey DIY video. That's our best. That's by far the best. Best video we've had so far. We've got over 10,000 views. I was so excited. Our, our top six have over 1,000 views. And in order to be in our top 10, it has to have over 630 views. That's because Lisa, Lisa is an awesome crafter. I don't know, Eliza Gale. That's, uh, that's a great question. How many more cases have been found? Don't really know on that one. I can tell you that there is a virus that has been sweeping through our area, but it has not been labeled as the coronavirus. So I, was, I actually missed one day at work, which I never miss work, so... The monitor, yes. When that happens, uh, Marley, everyone, everyone will be invited. Everyone will be invited for that, uh, for that, the live stream. Absolutely. Um, YT Gamer, I, I thought it was forty, but I may be wrong. Fourteen. Okay, fourteen. All right. Maybe that was over in China or uh, Japan, where I. It was probably in China where I'd read that. Yeah, I did too, Eliza Gale. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're just those are the cases that here inside the United States. I. I don't know. I know that some of them uh, thanked, and I'm not getting political here. Some of them. Hated that Donald Trump did it, and some of them thank Donald Trump for quarantining them. So I don't know. Watching several, but haven't confirmed them yet. So that makes sense for the quarantine, then, Marley.
the bathroom. So I apologize for that. For some reason we were buffering just a little bit there. So I'd like to take this opportunity right while we had a, a minute uh, break here. Are they, New York has had four deaths from the coronavirus, says Agnes. Wow. So I just wanted to thank everyone who has supported us uh, throughout. Um, some of our subscribers have been with us almost since day one. A lot of you have been with us for quite a quite a while now and you support us on almost every single video and if we don't take time and it's um, if we don't take time to thank those who support us they won't be there for us in the end and, and you know what we're so grateful for everyone who comes on and the moderators tonight which were YT Gamer and um, and Marley's inspiration Marley has been our moderator for every one of our lives so thank you so much to both of you. And uh, again, if you have not subscribed, please take time to do so. Mommy and Kimberly, how are you? Speaking of long-term subscribers and good friends. So, you know, just like I was saying though, we were so thankful for our subscribers. We don't announce these, which we should. Our next, I'm debating whether we're going to have a live on Friday or we're going to do a, um, a recorded video because it's going to be a DIY. And then remember, hashtag lunch so you can be entered to win this. Make sure you put it in the comments below when the video ends and gets put on. So comments below. Hashtag lunch. This thing is highly effective. Highly effective to use for your snacks at lunch. That's great that you had a relaxing day. Um, for the most part, I had a relaxing day too. Tomorrow I go back to work and it's going to be an interesting day. So, but again, don't forget... The giveaway announcement will be Friday on the video of the DIY that I do. It includes these nails. Now, I'm probably going to use the smaller nails. I don't think I'm going to use the bigger ones. So, that's just going to give you a, a uh, interesting little side bit, I guess you would say. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about hubbies earlier. We were talking about length of marriages and where everybody's from now. Um, Mommy and Kimberly are from California. So, you know, just give everybody a little background. So I think we're going to go ahead and conclude this video. I would like to thank everybody for your spending time with us tonight. And if you're not subscribed, take time to do so. Thank you again, friends who have come out to support us. And we are forever grateful for all of your support. Um, and please put down hashtag lunch in the comments below so that we can enter you in our giveaway. And until next time, thank you. Bye.